Okay, how to add folders to ChatGPT? First thing you need to do is to go to Google, search for Superpower ChatGPT, click on the first link, and you go to this extension, click on Add to Chrome, and download the extension. Once you download the extension, you can go back to ChatGPT, refresh the page. Once you refresh the page, you can see the extension getting triggered down here. You can see that the uh, my conversation are being synced. After all the conversation are fully synced, your folders appear here. You can, I have already created a few folder up here. That's why you see those folders. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder. So at the top, now you see a new, you see a search box here, which I'm going to talk about in another video. But next to the search box, we have this new button. This button, when you click on it, it will create a new folder. There you go. I just clicked on it and I'm going to like call this maybe coding. Uh, Confirm the name. I'm going to change the color. Maybe go like with dark blue or lighter. All right, now we have um, a new uh, folder up here called coding. I can easily drag files into here or outside of the folder. That's one way to add uh, conversation into the folder. Another way to add conversation is by selecting the conversation as you see. As soon as I selected the conversation, let me show you again, there is no button here. But as soon as I select the conversation, you see a new plus button appearing on every folder. So I can select multiple conversation. Uh, here, uh, a pro tip here, you can select multiple conversation by just holding down shift and clicking on any of these checkboxes and all the conversation between the two checkboxes will be selected. Once I have a few conversations selected, I can click on any of these plus button, whether the folder is open or not doesn't matter, and the conversation will be moved to the folder immediately. There you go. I just did that. All the conversation are here. Same way you can move the conversation out of the folder or you can select all the conversation or any number of conversation that you want here. I'm going to select all of them and then I'm going to hold down shift. If you look closely here, you can see that the plus turn into the minus. So I'm holding down shift, clicking on that and all the conversation were moved outside the folder right down here. So that's the folder. Oh, another uh, thing you can do with the folder. I'm going to show you in the setting. Um, we have an option here. Um, under history, you can turn this option on to show folder count, meaning that it will show the number of like, if you can see here, it shows the number of conversation in each folder. Zero, if as soon as I move one here, that number turned into one. I can select multiple again, just to show you, and move them here, five chat. So this way you don't even have to open the folder to tell how many, um, conversation are in inside the folder. You can always rename the folder coding to, uh, you can always move the for folder up and down, drag and drop them. One thing to note here is that the way the folder is created uh, with this extension, all the folders always appear at the top and under the folders, you see all of your conversation. Every time you create a new conversation with ChatGPT, I, uh, that new conversation will be added right under the last folder, top of your conversation. Another thing to note here is that like at the very bottom of all of your conversation, there is a special folder called trash. Anytime you delete a uh, conversation, the conversation will be moved into the trash. Um, you can always empty your trash by clicking on this on the trash icon on top of the trash folder. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to confirm it. And as you can see, zero chats. My trash is now empty. There is no comfort conversation inside my trash. Go back to the top. Uh, we have all the folders here. And yeah, that's, that's all the feature with folder. Um, give it a try and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.